Hello, the topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is uh, the mean value theorems. I will begin this video tutorial from the proof of uh, Rolle's theorem. The statement of the Rolle theorem is if we have a function which is continuous on closed interval AB and is differentiable on open interval AB and it also satisfies that the value of the function at A is equal to the value of the function at B. That is at the end point function has same value. And if the function satisfy these condition then there will exist a point C belongs to the open interval AB such that the derivative of the function at that point is equal to 0. Now next let me give you the graphically representation of this theorem. If we have a function which is a continuous differentiable on interval a b and the value of the function at the point a and the b it is the same uh, and this function is a continuous going from uh, the point a to point b then there will exist at least one it can be a more than one but there is exist at least one a point c where the derivative of the function that is f prime at c is equal to uh, 0. As, as you can see in this particular function there are more points where the derivative of the function is 0 but our goal is to show that there is at least one point c where the derivative of the function is 0. Now next let me give you the proof of this theorem. First I will write down what is given then I also write down what we want to show. So given so we have given a function f which is uh, continuous on the interval a b and this function is uh, differentiable on open interval a b and what we want to show actually we want to find uh, a point at least one point c belongs to the interval a b uh, so that the derivative of the function at this point is equal to 0. So this is what we want to show or we want to find. So I will start what is given. So the given is f is continuous uh, on a b and this interval a b is compact. So this is a closed interval. So closed and bounded interval they are all compact. So the interval a b is a compact. So since f is a continuous function defined on a compact set, so I can use extreme value theorem. By extreme value theorem, there exists x0 and x1. They both belong to this closed interval a, b, uh, so that uh, f of x0 uh, less than is equal to f of x less than is equal to f of x1 for all x belongs to this closed interval a b or in other word x0 and x1 uh, they are the maximum and minimum of the function. So next I am going to divide the proof into two cases. So in the case number one, we discuss what if um, x0 is equal to x1 and they both is equal to a, that can be a one case. Uh, another case can be a x0 is equal to x1 and they both is equal to b. And the third case will be a x0 is equal to a uh, and x1 is equal to b or x0 is equal to b and x1 is equal to a. So these will be the three cases if x0 and x1 they both occur at the end point. So for the first sub case if I plug x0 is equal to x1 is equal to a in this equation I will get f of a is equal to f of x for all values of x belongs to this closed interval a b and similarly uh, if I plug x0 is equal to x1 is equal to b uh, in this case I will get f of x is equal to 
f of b for all values of x belongs to close interval b and for the third case i will get f of x is equal to f of a but we also know that f of a is equal to f of b b because this is a, a given in the statement that f of a is equal to f of b now let's summarize this case and see uh, what we can take away from this so this case say that the value of the function in all the three cases is equal to a constant so, or in other word this function f of x is a constant function if it is a constant function we know that the derivative of the constant function is always zero for all values of x belongs to a b so in this case we not just have one value where the derivative is zero all the values between the point a and b the derivative of the function is zero now we will discuss the second case uh, when the point x0 uh, and x1 they are belongs to the open interval a b this time they do not occur at the end point so this time i can use the interior exterior value theorem which we proved in our previous video so therefore by interior extremum value theorem we get f prime at x0 is equal to 0 and f prime of x1 is equal to 0. So therefore in this case I can choose my c is equal to either x0 or x1 and I will have that f prime of c is equal to 0 and this is what we wanted to show or we wanted to prove. So this complete the proof of this theorem. Next we will discuss the proof of mean value theorem. The statement of the mean value theorem is if we have a function which is continuous on close interval a b and it is a differentiable on open interval a b then there exists a point c uh, which will belongs to the open interval a b uh, such that the derivative of the function at this point uh, will be equal to f of b minus f of a whole thing is divided by b minus a or in other words the derivative will be is equal to the mean value of the function. Now let me give you the proof of this theorem. So to begin the proof I will define a function g of x as f of x minus f of b minus f of a whole thing is divided by f b minus a and this multiply by x minus a and then I will add f of a and I will close this parenthesis. Now let's analyze this function. First we will observe that if I plug the value uh, a in this function I will get 0 that is the value of the function g at a is 0 you can verify and also the value of the function g at b is also 0 or in other word the function the value of the function g at a is equal to g at b and also notice the function g is continuous on close interval a b and it is a differentiable on open interval a b. So what this means? This means the function g of x satisfy all the requirement of Rolle's theorem. So we can use the Rolle's theorem on this function g of x. So therefore by Rolle's theorem we have we have uh, C which will belongs to the open interval a b uh, such that the derivative of the function in g at this point c is equal to 0. Now next we will calculate the derivative of this function uh, g and uh, substitute the value c in it. So this implies this will be f prime evaluated at c uh, minus f of b minus f of a whole thing is it divided by b minus a and the derivative of x minus a is just 1 and the derivative of f of a which is a constant term the derivative of that term is 
equal to 0. So now I will set the hole and I think is equal to 0. So if I calculate the values of f prime of c, I will get exactly what we need f of b minus f of a whole thing is divided by b minus a and this complete the proof of this theorem. Also you can observe the mean value theorem is the generalization of the Rolle's theorem because if you take f of a is equal to f of b this difference quotient will become zero and we will get the statement of Rolle's theorem. Here I have one quiz problem for you to practice. Please pause the video for one and two minutes and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.